you want to see something cool, check this out. You can create a smart bone that controls the emotion of your character, all from one bone. And you can get creative with it and create different emotions, which is really amazing. And also the cool thing about it is when you have your character in their emotion, it's still fully adjustable. I can rotate the head up and down and the emotion can adjust it as well. So it's a very versatile tool. Now, with that said, let me show you how I did it. So the first thing you want to do is open your window and make sure that you have your actions panel open. Once that is open, we are going to start to create some new actions. So with our bone layer selected, we're gonna create a new bone and just drag it up like that. I'm gonna call it um, smile slash sad. And then we hit new action, click okay. And then we're gonna come to about 60 seconds or 60 frames and rotate it to the right. Once it's rotated, we will make sure that our keyframes are linear. Now we get to create our emotion. Uh, this is our sad expression. So I'd lower the eyebrows, make them furrowed in, and I'm gonna squint the eyes a bit. I'll also raise them up just a little bit and maybe lower the eyebrows a little bit more. All right, next thing I'll do is close the mouth and maybe give it a bit of a frown. You can also lower the head and maybe even squash the neck in just a bit with a scale. All right, and then we're just gonna select our keyframes and make them linear. And we'll come back to our top, double click our main line and we'll select our uh, bone again. I'm gonna make sure it's show label is on so I can see what it's doing. And then I'm gonna create another uh, action. This time I'm gonna turn it to the left. So I'll rotate to the left, make sure it's linear. And this is gonna be my smile or my happy expression. So whatever I think that my happy expression will look like, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, maybe the eyes could come up just a bit and that smile is going to get real big. Make it wider. There we go. can even move the tongue around if I want. I think the head would come up just a little bit and maybe even scale up just a little bit. So then select your keyframes, make them linear. And let's just see how easy that was. Come out of the main line. And now let's start to play around with our new control. So we have a sad and we have a happy and it works perfectly. And you can maneuver things around, rotate the head and everything will adjust accordingly. So that's it, a real simple trick using smart bones and go ahead and get wild with it, create some emotions and whatever you can think of. You can also adjust some of the mouth shapes as well to create your own consonant and vowel shapes. So it's a very versatile tool and it's only limited by your own imagination.